What is going on, guys? Wiser here, just bringing you the recap of the last war for Invicta. Uh, it was not a very interesting one, so not going to spend a lot of time this Farm Fortress clan. <laughs> Let's show you this real quick. Enemy team. War opponent, please put top two TH plus storage is unprotected. You win. <laughs> like it, I just don't understand groups like that. But hey, that's their choice. So wasn't very fun. They did have some CC troops, mostly archers, a couple hounds that surprised us. So I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this. They had a lot of Town Hall 10s. I think down all the way down to 18. And we actually got a Town Hall 9 step up and get a 3 star. Uh, and then I'm just going to do a couple little videos of some, <clears throat> almost a bit of a theory craft in a sense, of the reason why you don't build a poor base. <laughs> uh, we'll get there when we get there, but I'm just going to kick this off by showing us a Town Hall 9, 3 starring, a Town Hall 10. South fence, keep being a beast. He did have uh, someone set the plan out for him here. I won't uh, say who that was though, but... Could have been me, just saying. <laughs> South Fence just brings it home here. <clears throat> so Archer Queen doing some work at the top. She's got three healers down. He opens up that compartment there. Drops a whiz to help just to create a little bit of a funnel. He wants to mimic what happened in my attack. So she's going to clear out all of this, these two air defenses in these buildings, and take a little bit of a walk around. I actually thought she was going to step up and start to take out this air sweeper. Then the CC would engage. It didn't happen, but it still works out. She comes and walks right about here and draws the CC. He's already started creating a funnel down here with some minions, which is good. So as soon as she draws the CC, he's going to drop his poison, drop a rage. They're not going to touch her, just a bunch of archers. It's unfortunate that we didn't get... Oh, there's a few wizards in there, but... Nothing too contesting. So, he's going to continue on with the next part of his attack. He drops a golem, a few giants, and his king. Now, his goal here is to get this crossbow, the inferno tower, and the defensive archer queen. Uh, I just missed getting that inferno tower, and that's kind of what was the difference in the first attack. So, South France brings a rage here for the giants and for the king. So, when the king gets here and here, he's just going to fly up. Giants are already doing work, almost have that crossbow down. The giants finally go down, but the king's still at full health. He's able to do complete work of that Inferno Tower, takes it down just in time. And then he's going to start sending in some Lava Hounds on this lone air defense that's left. Bloons backing it up, just kind of going to pick off a few of these defenses. He has one more rage, he's just going to rage right over this Inferno Tower. Bam, there it goes. Three loons, three loons. I think he's got four up here still alive so he's looking pretty good from this point loons move in take out that last air d the tesla some of them are on top of the inferno under that raid they just take him down on one shot only a couple more defenses to go he still has some cleanup loons for these defenses on the outside to help protect this queen who still is doing work with these three healers never goes down the whole raid worked out really nice basically clean up from here just a mortar and an archer tower to go Great job, South Fence. Way to step up and take out this Town Hall 10. Beautiful attack. That is three. All right. So a lot of good attacks. Again, the bases were nothing special. So I'm not going to waste a lot of time. But one thing I noticed that I thought I could pull out of this for the viewers is a couple attacks we did. One of them was my attack. And I really exploited the, the the reason that you don't build these crummy ring bases. I'm going to jump in here and show you guys what I'm talking about. So these ring bases, I mean, pause this for one sec. <clears throat> Pretty much he's got three compartments in the entire base. You know, one, two, three. So if you break through one or two of those, you're basically into the entire base. So for anyone new to base building or wars, this is the reason you can't build a base so open like this uh, a lot of guys might get away with using pekkas valkyries in my opinion are far superior because they're so much faster and they damage more than one building at a time and a, the initial dps isn't as high as a swing from a pekka i guess but the pekka are so much slower so you'll see what i do here i bring in 14 valkyries i got one golem in the cc 
I'm just going to bust this open and I actually have a complete fail here. I'm not paying attention to this mortar. Initially, in my plan, I had meant to drop the wall breakers down here. I drop them up there. They get taken out by the mortar. But it doesn't matter because once the wall gets opened, I just unleash 14 Valkyries into this base with the jump there. And they have access to everything. Got a couple heals. I rage them. I drop a heal for them. And then I still have 13 hogs in the bag to send in kind of from the outside and reinforce. So let's just watch this play out as a quick reason to not build a ring base like this. A lot of archers, so I had to send in a second hog. Again, you'll see the wall breaker fail come up here. Lure everything over. Kill it. Golem goes in. If you'll watch my wall breaker fail right there. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> So it takes a minute for these golems to bust through this wall. So I end up losing a couple wizards. My queen almost goes for a walk, but drop my king here. Finishes off this wall. This is why you don't wall break or fail, because <laughs> really I should not have three-starred this base. It's just as a very poor design. So line of Valkyries goes in, jump goes down. They lock right onto that defensive queen with the king, and everything is unleashed into pretty much all the defenses in this base so get a heal down i got a rage going down valks get raged up just start shredding everything in this core look how fast all these buildings are just going down they lock onto the defensive king see you later i've already sent in hogs from the top to kind of help protect this archer queen while she's doing work hogs are starting to take the defenses outside of that ring valks path back around and then finish off the ring here kind of works out perfectly so if you let Valkyries just run rampant through your base like that, it's not a good base design, guys. <laughs> so for you newer base, base builders, stay away from that. Asymmetrical, you want at least, I'd say, 12, 14 compartments in your base, not three. So moving on, we're going to show one more sort of example of that, but in a different way. This is actually one of the craziest attacks I've ever seen. So BBJ decides to trump me on that 14 Valk attack. And let's take a look what he brings here. <clears throat> 24 Valkyries. This is definitely the most Valks I've ever seen in a raid. But same idea. It's a ring base. You know, there's literally four, six compartments. So he just gets the lure out here. Just the exact same sort of way I did. Probably executed a little better and not have a wall breaker fail. Drops a golem, opens the wall, and the Valks are just going to shred through this wall to get to those CC troops. So again, these 24 Valkyries now have free reign of this whole base. Drops a rage for them. They're just going to shred and keep flying through this base. He's got kind of a good split on them. He drops a heal over on this side for this group, the, the lesser of the group. So that's, I think, a good choice. Got one more heal going up here for them. They're just going to work their way around this base and just blow everything to pieces. Like, <laughs> no chance for this base whatsoever. Queen's down here starting to do some work. This golem's barely done anything. It's been all these Valks. 24 Valkyries. One more heal in the bag. I think it's going to go down right around here. He doesn't even need it. He would not even need to drop this heal at this point. There's only a handful of defenses, the two Tesla in the core, maybe. Queen still at full health, has her ability. Note also, he does not even have a king. So, PPJ just wrecked this base. <laughs> Glad you gave us a chance to show a little bit of theory craft of why you do not build ring bases. They are bad. It's pretty much clean up from here. There's a couple of defenses down here, but we're going to fast forward this. <clears throat> Look how fast they just melt the walls. Two, two shots, basically. And that's the three. Good job, BBJ. Good read. All right, so I'm not going to waste much more time on this. Pretty boring war, although it's kind of funny to be able to bring some interesting uh, troop comps uh, when you're up against uh, sort of fun clans like these that really just you can do whatever you want. So uh, we do have an interesting war coming up in Invicta. It's uh, against this Chinese clan, I believe, and they definitely have a lot of anti-three stars and uh, quite a few wins. So hopefully we got a much more interesting recap for you next time. Till then, I'm out.